Hi, welcome to another video by Archangel Raphael. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Jabeen. I'm a channel of Archangel Raphael. Um, this particular video is going to be about um, anything that you need to let go of, um, you know, before the new year um, or sort of in the early part of the new year, you know, in order to sort of embrace, you know, everything that's coming, you know, ahead of this time. Um, so um, it's going to be a pick a number um, and Archangel Raphael will briefly, um, according to the number you pick, um, will talk about, you know, how this relates to you, you know, what you might be holding on to, what you need to let go of. Um, and afterwards, there's going to be a healing clearing for every group. Um, so that will be after, um, after Raphael talks about the numbers. Um, right at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let Raphael come in now and speak. <clears throat> what I would like you to know is that there are many messages I have about this first and foremost. What I would like to share is that letting go is not about necessarily trying to let go because this makes it harder but it is firstly about being aware of what is holding you back, what your system is holding on to. And the best way of letting go is to go deeper into the energy which is there and let it move through you. What we are going to give you in this particular video session is help to do this. Whatever you are holding on to, we will work with you in order to clear it. So by you being willing to go there, we are able to go there with you and clear energy. The more that you are holding on to, the more I would highly recommend that you revisit this video and do the clearing with us. I also would like you to know that the emptier you are going forwards into the new year, the more you are able to receive. And when I speak about being empty, I am not saying that it is about you being devoid of any of your own thoughts, aspirations, ideas but more about being empty energetically of negative emotion, emotional patterns, ways of being which are holding you back, which are habits rather than spontaneous ways of being. Anything that your system is holding on to where you are not able to be in the flow I also will say that being empty is very much about being able to then receive more. So it is not about being in any way empty in terms of positive energy and flow. It is more an emptying of what is stuck, what is holding you back, what is not able to move. And then through this you receive more more inspiration, more flow, more oneness, more grace that can then flow through your body and being and create on the earth plane whatever it is, like, whatever it is you would like. My final message is that there are many of you who are really looking to change your lives in a big way and the way forwards for all of you is to go deeper into what you are holding on to. Go deeper into the ways that your energy is stuck. Because it is through this that change can automatically happen in your life. That is all. I will make a start. So I would like you to choose a number that really calls out to you the most from one to three. And then I will give you each your message. And after this, I will do the clearing healing work accompanied by many angels. Group number one, my message for you 
is that I see that you are holding on to a lot of pain and trauma connected to your childhood years. I see you have not fully moved on from this, that there are parts of you stuck in the past. For this group, I would highly recommend you focus on how you feel about your childhood, how you felt during it, and to focus on clearing the negative emotions there, perhaps with the help of a good therapist, someone who works particularly with energy and moving it in the body. However, you can also do this on your own by consciously engaging with how you feel and letting the energy move identifying themes and asking for those themes to fully clear from your body and being in all directions of time and space. That is all. Group number two. My message for you is that I see you are holding on to experiences you have had with people in the past relationship issues you have had with people. I see you have not fully moved on from past relationships and this is what needs looking at, looking more closely at what you are holding on to, what you have not fully healed within you, perhaps even going deeper into the issues that were there between you and others and clearing them with within yourself, perhaps even finding ways to be with the people if necessary to resolve issues in a way that feels good. But I see there are some loose ends to tie up when it comes to past relationships, ex-partners, family members, friends, all kinds of people who have been in your life where there have been problems. And sometimes those problems can be resolved by simply going inwards, getting a sense of what happened, what the problem was in you and what was then being played out and sorting this out. That is all. Group number three. My message for you is that I see you are holding on to a lot of disappointment about your life, feelings that things have not worked out the way you would have liked, feeling like a failure, feeling that nothing works for you, a sense that things have gone wrong and not really knowing why. For this group, you are not able to see clearly what your life has really been about on all levels and my message to you about this is that there is sometimes a lot to be said for simply being able to accept what has happened and from this place of acceptance you then spontaneously receive the clarity you need to fully move on. For some of you your life has not worked out the way you would have liked because the vision that you had it was not quite right or perhaps the people you did the vision with, the people were not fully compatible with you or perhaps it is simply because of energies that you were not in control of, negative energies that came in and sabotaged your progress. But whatever the reason is why your life has not worked out the way you would have liked, by going deeper and firstly accepting what has occurred, you will receive more clarity. And then through this clarity, you can sort out what has happened, what has been the problem. For some of you, it will mean to go deeper into your healing process. For others, it will simply be about recognising something and moving on, such as accepting that the people you were choosing to move forwards with were not right for you, or accepting that the vision you had was not quite right, 
that it was missing something. That is all. I will do the clearing now on all of you. I want you to focus on your own energy, on what you are holding on to, and the rest will be done for you. You will be worked on on many different levels, and so you will receive what you need, whatever your situation is, doing this now. I would like you to know that this is not done on all levels for you, but I would like you to know that for now it is enough and it would be good for some of you to revisit this video several times and to keep going with these clearings. What I will say is that there is a lot to be said for regularly going inwards to clear away what is necessary 
and sometimes doing it in small doses at a time is more effective so that you can integrate what has occurred. That is all. Yeah, so thank you everyone for listening and hope you benefited from this video um, and lots of love to all of you.